Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting for me. This is another video in collaboration with GHD. You guys know I am like obsessed with GHD. Honestly, they're like family to me by this point. I've been working with them for a couple of years now and I absolutely adore them. I adore the brand and everything that it's about. The head office is actually here in Brisbane, so I have been in and met a bunch of the staff behind the marketing and PR team. They're all so, so lovely, and I just, yeah, I adore them, and I really love working with them, so I'm excited to bring you guys this video today, especially because I get to show you one of the coolest new tools on the market. So they've come out with a styling tool called the GHD Oracle. There is literally nothing else like it on the market. This thing is absolutely insane. You're probably looking at it in the screen screaming like what on earth is that because that doesn't look like a hair straightener it doesn't look like a curling wand it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before and that's what makes this so incredibly cool I actually went into my hairdresser last week who funnily enough I met through working with GHD but I went in and spent about 45 minutes with her learning about this tool she has obviously done like proper training she's been using it in her salon for a couple of months now so she is like an absolute pro with this tool and I had a lot of fun learning from her I actually videoed the entire thing so that I could watch it back and kind of like study the tool if that makes sense so that when I filmed this video for you guys I had all of the knowledge I possibly could to share with you and educate you guys on this tool and how freaking amazing it is so one of the hairstyles that my hairdresser Brody showed me is that really trendy like beach crimpy wave at the moment I feel like it's super super popular I'm seeing it pop up on Instagram all the time it's the type of wave that you can't really achieve with a straightener or a curling wand like it's pretty difficult to do but this tool I was like I was blown away when she showed me so yeah that is what I'm gonna show you guys today and then because it's kind of festival season here in Australia we have a bunch of festivals coming up including Splendor which I will be attending I thought at the end I would show you four quick super easy festival hairstyles with this beach crimp curl I don't really know what to call it but I'm getting like 90s vibes from it so if you guys want to make up a name for this hairstyle in the comments down below go for it because I at the moment can't like put into words what it is anyways without further ado I'm going to stop rambling and jump straight into this video because I'm super excited to style my hair and show you guys how cool this thing really is all right so my hair is freshly washed I actually washed it last night so that's why it's like a little bit wavy a little bit straight doesn't really know what it's doing so this is the perfect kind of state for it to be in for this hairstyle because I want it to have a little bit of volume so I'm gonna switch the Oracle on it heats up in 30 seconds which is super quick like very very fast oh my lights are flickering can you guys see that? All right, so the thing that makes this tool so unique is that it's got this U-shaped curl zone here, which the hair kind of passes through, and as it passes through, it is obviously heated, and that is what creates the curl. I think GHD have spent a lot of time and money perfecting this, and like, just rigorously testing it, making sure that it is exactly what a consumer wants in terms of like a curling tool. Because obviously to look at it, it looks a bit scary, but once you start using it and get your hands on it and start feeling it with your hair, it is so easy to use because of that U-shaped curl zone. So like all of the other GHD stylers, it's got the automatic switch off mode. So after about 30 minutes, you will hear it shut itself down, which is great if you're anything like me. It's also got the swivel cord at the bottom, which um, a lot of the stylers also have, but it just makes it easy to kind of move around. It sounds really silly, but this honestly makes a huge difference when you're trying to maneuver it around your hair. I feel like the main thing that kind of separates this apart from other curling tools on the market, like curling wands, is that you can create so many different styles of curl with the one tool. So curling wands are pretty basic. There's only so much you can do with a curling wand and that's wrap your hair around it. Whereas with this, you can do so many different things with it. Depends on how you hold it, the angle that you hold it, how tightly you clamp it on your hair. There's so many different things that you can do with this tool to create a different look. So yeah, that's why I thought I'd show you guys the like loose crimp vibe today because I haven't been able to achieve that look with any other styler before. So what I'm gonna do is, as always, kind of section my hair. My hair is super thick, so whenever I style it, I do have to section it so that I can reach all of it. So I'm just gonna put half of it up for now and leave the bottom half down. And then, of course, 
You always, always, always have to go in with heat protect spray if you're ever using a heat styling tool. You need to protect your hair. So I'm going in with the GHD Unplugged Heat Protect Spray. This stuff is an absolute godsend. I just lightly spritz it over my hair. All right, now the trick to this is to grab sections that are a little bit thicker. This will keep the waves a little bit looser. So I'm gonna grab a section about that big to start off with. And then one of the main things for this hairstyle is to make sure you constantly have the styler on a horizontal angle, because that's what will create that horizontal crimp kind of effect. So with that section there, I'm going to bring the styler up close to my roots and making sure that it's all sitting within that curl zone. And then I'm going to lightly clamp, turn it on a 180 and then let go. You guys see that? So cool. And then basically just continue that the entire way down. You guys see how cool that curl is? It's literally like, I don't know how you would achieve this with any other heating tool. Hopefully you guys can see properly, but that is the bottom layer all styled. So you can see it's just like a super beachy, loose kind of crimp look. Um, it actually looks kind of cute with my hair up in like a half bun. So now I'm going to pull the top layer down and do the top layer. I'll run through and show you guys properly again and kind of like talk through it as I do it for a couple of sections. Cause I know it took me a couple of tries to get this right. Like I've literally been practicing this to try and get it perfect and even then it's still not perfect but I think the thing is with this hairstyle it doesn't have to be perfect that's the that's the great thing about it it's supposed to look undone and messy all right so going in with my heat protect spray again just for this layer all right so grabbing this front section remember to keep the tool as horizontal as possible this is something I really struggled with when Brody was teaching me how to do it my hand kept going on an angle just because that's where it feels most comfortable. So just remember to keep your wrist as horizontal as possible. And then you grab a section like that, bring the styler in and up. Make sure that the hair is sitting within the curl zone and then clamp down and turn it about 180 degrees and let go. Move it down a little bit, clamp it. Turn it 180 degrees, let go, clamp it. 180 degrees. So it's just the same thing repeated the whole way down and you get this really cool crimp. All right, I'm going to finish off the rest of this layer now and then show you guys the finished look and then we can move on to doing some really cute festival kind of hairstyles. So this is what you should basically end up with. But the cool thing about this is if there's any sections that you feel like are lacking a little bit, you can go back in with the styler and just intensify the curl a little bit more, which is really, really cool. Just like that. The other thing that you can do is I'll scooch back a little bit so that you can see the bottom. So see how the bottoms are all a bit messy. So you can go over with the styler and just kind of run the styler over almost like it's a straightener and just smoothen out those ends a little bit so they're not all kind of curled towards the end. 
and that just gives you a little bit more length in it as well and just makes it look a little bit neater. All right, so now I am going to show you guys four festival hairstyles using this kind of curl as a base. I think they're just really cool and fun hairstyles and if there's any way that you can get away with doing something like that, it is at a festival. Yeah. It's 2 a.m. outside when I'm with you, I feel way too high. 